Hey friends, Pastor Todd here. Hey, did you know that uh, there is an invasion going on right now? And it might not be the invasion that you're thinking of. Uh, that that's another that's another story. Um, we're talk, you're probably thinking about uh, the one going on in Israel, uh, but this one is by these little creatures called cicadas, and these cicadas. They live underground on, on a normal basis. They live underground feeding on the roots of trees and stuff like that. But every 17 years or so, they come to the surface. And what happens is they come to the surface by, by the billions. And, and so all across the eastern half of the eastern uh, part of the country, uh, the east coast, basically, um, and some, some of the midwestern states too, I think, see them. And, and they hear them too, and they're very loud. Uh, and they go on this mating ritual for for like a whole month. And so during this time, every seventeen years, you know these these things emerge, and you know they kind of like I don't know, they might kind of gross you out a little bit because they're all over the place. And you're you know when when I when I when I saw them. I, I think I re vaguely remember seeing them about 17 years ago, and I thought they were I thought they were locusts. But but um, I'm coming to find out that they're cicadas, and they come to to the surface every 17 years, and they're very loud. And so uh, so if you if you start hearing if you start hearing them, you you will uh, it will be an undeniable sound. Um, so I think that's uh, I think that's neat in a way but but I also think it's kind of kind of gross to think about those little things all over the place and then after after the month they go back down they go back under and you know I, I, I can remember thinking um, to myself God why why did you uh, invent why did you create um, <laughs> something like this why are these things there why why are they they there I mean uh, but you know, my mind goes back to my mind always goes back to Genesis into our into the beginnings, and uh, and and I and I go to the um, I go to Genesis one twenty through one twenty four one twenty five, and it says this. Then God said, "Let the waters swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind." So God created sea creatures of every living thing that scurries and swarms in the water and every sort of bird each producing offspring of the same kind and god saw that it was good then god blessed them saying be fruitful and multiply let the fish fill the seas and let the birds multiply on the earth and everything passed and evening passed and morning came marking the fifth day then god said let the earth produce every sort of animal, each producing offspring of the same kind. Livestock, small animals that scurry along the, the ground and wild animals. And that is what happened. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock, and small animals, each able to produce offspring of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. So the next time you think about these crazy little creatures uh, all over the place you see them in, on the trees and on the grass and everything just know that God's creation is good God saw that it was good and it is good because it came from God we may not be able to see the good in it but God saw that it was good so just know when he created you he created a good work. He created a good, uh, he made a good creation in you, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. God doesn't make mistakes. And uh, so just think about that. God saw that it was good, and he saw that, that his creation in you was good too. Well, that's all I have. Uh, God loves you. I love you. Uh, we're praying for you. If you uh, have a specific prayer you want us to pray about, um, just reach out to us, newheartnazarene.org. Or you can find us on Facebook, New Heart Church of the Nazarene. And we look forward to seeing you. We look forward to 
to fellowshipping with you, um, come by our church sometime uh, in Hillsboro, and we we would love to meet with you and and just uh, just just have some uh, good old fashioned one on one time. So anyway, uh, take care of yourself, and we'll see you next time.